Hey guys, welcome to the demo of Legend of Keepers. It's been in concept for a while and the demo was released today. I'm going to be the new Dungeon Master! Maybe. Let's go. I think at this stage there is just a tutorial, I do not know. I'll find out though, but this is the preparation phase. I'm up here, because as I understand it, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on down there. Congratulations, you have been hired by the Dungeon Company. Each dungeon has its own room configuration. Room types can Posing the dungeon and the order in which heroes will explore them are displayed oh, at the top of the screen. I think that's that thing up there. Place your traps and monsters as efficiently as possible to defeat them before they reach the treasure. This sounds familiar. Okay, let's see. Place a trap. This thing? Bones catapult. Okay, some details here on what that will do. Well, I'm not surprised why that will ruin the morale if the ammo appears to be bones and blood. Ugh. Alright, validate it. I think I have no choice. Okay, that's my group, is it? Tactical planning! Even if the temporary death of your employees doesn't really matter to you, their deployment shouldn't be left to chance. Heroes and monsters have weaknesses and strengths that should be taken into account to put an effective strategy in place. The damage type of attacks as well as targets, as well as targets that will be affected by, must therefore be analysed carefully. It's also very important to check the resistance and armor of fighters before placing your workforce. Of course. Right. Ooh, some interesting words here. Big boy here. Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, dear. Oh, he looks pretty tough. He's quite vulnerable to fire and, and air for some reason. He, he doesn't like air. I'm not surprised. He needs to get a bit of fresh air. Click to place. Okay. This dude here, he's pretty weak armor. Which is surprising, considering he seems to be wearing a fair amount. And you, Ward. You are generally pretty weak against any form of element. Okay. Doesn't look like I'll be facing these guys. I think we're going by the different rooms here. Uh, the master of the situation. This majestic stallion man. That's you. Me? Really? You're the Dungeon Master. I'm already a Dungeon Master. I've done it. Let's go. You are the last bastion before heroes can get their hands on the treasure. But be careful. Even if the Enterprise's health mutual is taking in charge of the resurrection and health care of its employees, the li lish? leech in the infirmary is not allowed to heal you. Make sure to defeat or weaken as much adventurers as you can before they come to you and everything should be fine. Let's see what they've got. Me angry. Ah, hero wannabes, huh? Each hero has a skill depending on his class that can be used uh, once per dungeon at specific times. The scout, for example, can dodge a trap. Don't get, don't get used to the rookie heroes you'll face early on, though, because the more experienced heroes may have a few surprises in store. Ew, gross. Hocus Pocus. Ah, magic. Each dungeon contains a single spell room you can use to take the lead back. To change your strategy along the way or to come closer to victory even more quickly. Even if you only have one at your disposal here, each master actually comes with his own set of three spells. Right, cast a spell. Hold the line. Let's see. Enhance resistance by three. So next group of monsters. Okay. So, am I actually on the right? I thought I was the guys on the left. Art of War. Positive values of resistance and armor reduce damage taken in the match type by the percentage displayed. Negative values, however, represents any weaknesses and increased damage taken of the matching type. So I already know one of those guys doesn't like air. Nevertheless, neutralizing heroes by reducing their life to zero is not the only way to defend the treasure. You can also make them flee by completely defeating their moral gauge, yes. Make them go mad. You noted the resistance and armor doesn't impact the morale loss. Aww. So is this automatic or am I... Oh, okay. Ah, I got some control here. Okay, uh, do I have the option to choose here, or am I... I 
I don't think I do. I think I do have to do this. Scare them. Oh, I am the guys on the right. Ow. Oh, you little bugger. Okay. Fireball. Does 60 fire damage. Oh, my guys aren't holding themselves very well, are they? Scream of Terror! Haha, <laughs> he run. Oh, great. Ow! I wonder if this is deliberate. <laughs> he looked at me and ran. <laughs> Ooh, finally, I get to choose now. Whiplash! 80 physical damage. Let's see, can I see his? His health is down to 34, so yeah, that will easily enslavement. 20 air damage applies. Let's have a look. No. And challenge, minus 40 morale. No, we're just going to whiplash him. There we go. Congratulations, you are now ready to take up your post. That was pretty straightforward, wasn't it? Slaveholder. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Nice beard. Okay, what's all this? Agenda, week one, the dungeon. The preparation phase. So, I am definitely the guys on the right, and for what it seems, I don't actually have a map to explore. Uh, obviously, I'm not entirely sure yet, but it seems I am just defending my dungeon from intruders, and I gotta do my best to defend it. So, there appears to be three lines of defense. So, here we go, place your monsters. All of these are level 1, and those are level 1 as well. I get to see these guys at least anyway. Oh no, these are all 6 that I can choose. Can I have a look at these guys? I can. That gives me a slight advantage. Air. Air. Oh, he's pretty good against air, but not on nature. So, focusing on monsters, monsters that do attacks on air and... What was it again? Air and nature. Okay. Uh, you do nature. Ice. Nature, fire, physical, ah, well, either way, we're going to have this one. The, th the, th how do you pronounce that? Thish. A thish, I'm going to have a thish, I'm going to have a thish right there. Let's see you, you do, oh, go, 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 yes, to nature, definitely. Okay, and the closest I've got, hmm, I think I'll rely on the, oh, these two are, oh, they're the same. All right, I'll have one of you. Validate. Booby trap time. A circular saw. Bleeding. Minus and... Ooh, depression. Minus morale and enrage. Applies to the next group of monsters. Which would be me at that point. I guess I'm just going to have to stick with a good old-fashioned circular saw. Why not? That should... That should really... Ooh, more rooms. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. I thought I would just have three, but no, I can do more. I got a new set of... Are these new set of monsters? Yeah. Okay. I like you, but your health is pretty low. Looks like I'm going to have to focus on the physical in this area. Uh, next one, all of them are pretty weak, so let's focus on their ability. I say... Yeah, I'm going to have him. His fire damage is pretty good. Another trap. I'll stick with the Bones Catapult, it'll affect all of them. Aye. Let's see how this does. Look how small he is, is, is he adorable? Oh, why did they get to attack first? Oh great, I've just lost him. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. Poison. Ooh, poison arrow. Toxic volley. Ah, right, um... Ah. Hmm, let's have a look. I guess we'll do a volley. There we go. There we go. Ow. Ow! Wow, I employed some weak guys. Okay, uh, he'll attack the front guy, him. Do need to weaken him up a bit. Scream of Terror. I'm going to cleaver him. There we go. Get some bleeding in there. Uh, 
Ah. Come on, buzzsaw. Do your thing. Yeah! Oh. Why did they get to attack first? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing a fireball. Get rid of that guy. At some point. Let's see, ice block. 60 on the back only. This one does it to all of them. 18 ice damage. Hmm. Speed reduced by 40. Uh, God, what to do? I'm taking the ice block. There we go. All right, let's get rid of that guy. Fireball! There we go. And there I go. Damn. Go trap! Oh, hang on a minute. Burning whip. Uh-huh, just for the front guy. Enhances resistance, and this one must morale. Well, the burning whip it is. You are out of there! Hmm. Now it's just you and me. You're not gonna work. Oh, it's just you. Ow, I don't have that much health. Oh, I am so... Ooh. That might finish off his morale. Yeah, I can make him run away. Or just kill him. Let's have a look here. Yeah, let's just whiplash him again. I like the whiplash. He is down. You managed to protect the treasure. The direction offers you one of these bonuses in addition to 264 gold coins. Okay, let's have a look here. I can add uh, intimidation to myself, I think. Takes it from 20 to 24. Or I can add a cra. Hmm. Ooh, he does not like nature. But I could do with some stronger opponents. Or do I just take the gold? Ah, I see. Right, okay. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll take the gold. Now, what have I got? I don't think I can do anything else here. This appears to be going week by week. Let's see, nothing in the way of artifacts. Can't click up there. What's this up here? Employees. And traps. I can buy stuff. Bones catapult. Uh huh. Uh huh. So are these my current employees right now? I think they are. In my garrison, there is no one. I think I'm out to get some more guys. God, what to pick? All of them are level one. This ice guy, I quite like him. Oh, hang on. Oh, I don't think I can purchase. No, I think this is just, um... Oh, I thought I could purchase these things, but apparently not. Uh, what's this? That is the menu. We don't need that. Okay, back. Choose a task. Merchant, engineer, or event. Merchant. Here is where I can buy stuff. We're getting there slowly. Oh, he's very good with poison, isn't he? If he ever lasts. Uh, nature, sorry. Rally horn. Uh -huh. Good work. Physical damage as well. I want to get this guy again. He's very good if he lives. Trainer. Choose a task or event. I want to see what event is. Work accidents. An employee has spilled his burning hot drink on you in front of the Blood Fay machine. Puck my life. 30 damage taken. Damn it! Who <laughs> dare spill my drink? Great. Now I've taken some injury. Week 4, event. Understaffing. The RND research and development manager needs a guinea pig to test a new trap. He's asking you to provide him with one of your employees in exchange for some gold. Yeah, oh, oh, you're going to take him, huh? Oh, I fine, accept. Okay, week 5. Back to the dungeon. I was only half aware of what I did there. Let's have a look here. 
These guys have very good health. Maybe I should focus on the morale. The morale is... Well, he's got good morale. He's got low morale. Yeah, maybe I should focus on the morale side of things. Uh, you can do a good morale scare. I'll have you. Let's see, nature. Who's weak against nature? Uh, these two are. Assuming he lives, I can place him in the middle this time. It doesn't seem like I can target guys specifically in the middle. It's either the front or the back. So maybe having him in the middle will be a good idea. Morale again. Nature. Oh, he's very good at morale. Oh, I'll take you. Uh, let's have a look here. Rally horn. Maybe. Yes, the rally horn. That'll affect the morale a bit. Another trap. Get their morale affected. Right. I'll stick you in the front. Oh, I can do that. Okay. You in the middle. And finally, one guy that can take a lot of punishment. 100. Yeah, you. And of course, me. I'd like to go first at some point. Right. In the front of the back. Oh, his morale's been a... Oh, no. Hmm. Air damage. Air 15, 0. Oh, they're all pretty resistant to air. Can I change character? No. Fine. Scare. Boo! Poison time. And nature. Minus 45, minus 20. E one of these specifically for... No. A poison arrow will affect the back guy. And let's have a look. Oh, damn. He's resilient. Fine. Toxic Valley it is. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Scream! I eat unhealthy foods. On the morale side, I seem to be doing quite well affecting them. Trap time! Look at that little guy sitting there. That was it? Well, okay, let's have a look at morale, morale, morale. Here we go. Intimidation. Catapult time! Ew. Okay, the fear of the dead. Ah, you're good old fashioned battling. There we go. Now the morale is pretty down. Scream of terror! Almost, two of them are almost there. Oh, he's gone. And so is he. Now it's just you. Good old fashioned fighting should do the trick. Hey, maybe I'll get rid of this guy and they won't even touch me. There we go. I did clearly better that time. You managed to protect the treasure. The direction offers you one of these bonuses in addition to 280 gold coins. Artifact. Protection amulet. Creature gains plus five to all resistance. Rabbit's foot. 20% more chance to have an artifact offered as a dungeon reward. Or oh, this guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have the rabbit's foot. Okay, now then. This training thing. We haven't seen what that is yet. Let's have a quick look. Ah, right. Okay. Some time in the training room. Let's see. Training 100 is going to cost me for gold. These are all the guys, and I'm assuming I can do this as much as I want. 
Let's see, something that can affect everyone. Here we go. Alright, train you. There we go. He's now at level two. I've got just over a thousand gold. Seems I can only train them once though. Damn. Okay. Plunder. Hello? Ah. Risk of injury 10%. Primarily gold gaining. Set monster free. Do I, I get to choose at least? Risk of injury 25%. Set a monster free 10%. Get some gold. Or here. Whoa. That one's much more dangerous. Let's stick with something a bit more simple, shall we? Let's, uh... Let's raid the village. That seems to be a village down there. Plunder. Your employees have ransacked an isolated farm. Don't I feel big? They have emerged unscathed and have gathered gold. Getting gold seems to be quite easy. I think we should focus on actually using our ability rather than trying to get rich here. Random event. Potion of evolution. An employee has found a strange flask in a... Oh, you, st you found a strange flask and you decided to drink it? In a broom closet and has drunk it. All in one gulp. Don't expect to see him grow in intelligence. Because he seems to have gained muscular mass. Well done, you just drank an unknown steroid. Congratulate. Yet yeah, well done for drinking random things. Merchant. Uh, let's see. No, I don't want to do that. Do I have the ability to heal myself at some point? I don't know, it stays like that. I must be able to heal myself, but maybe I missed that ability. Hang on a minute. Oh no, I clicked leave and it cost me my week. Damn. Okay, one more dungeon go. Uh oh, level one, level two, level two. I should have focused more on training. This could be hurtful for me. Let's have a look. Morale low, morale low, morale low. The health on these guys is pretty high. I think we're going to have to focus on morale again. Enrage 3 applies to the next group of monsters. Hmm. Yeah, let's focus on the Rallyborn. Ah, this time it's a bit more different. Let's have a look here. Are you guys having a similar sort of damage? Yeah. Weak against nature again. But let's focus on the morale. Hmm. Alright, I'll take you. You can go there. You can go there, and you, ah, nuts, hang on a second, actually remove him, and put him there, and put him there, bones catapult, you can see where I'm going with this. I'm going to stick you in the front. You in the middle. And... Let's see. You at the back. And me! Protect the treasure! Still unfair, these guys get the first go. Scare the big Jesus out of the front guy, or do that to that. Uh, yeah, scare him. Boo! Ow. Ow. Oh, blimey, use him while I still can. Oh, goody. Another scream of terror. Sweet. Ow. <laughs> Boo! Ooh. Okay, scream of terror! Run away! Oh, he's not running away! I expected him to run, but apparently he didn't. Well, he will now. Go on, get out of here. My turn. T 
differently and morale is really working for me. Rather than rely on the physical, just scare the big jeebies out of them. Ow! There we go. I've got the knack of this. Okay. Let's have a look here. More rabbit's feet. The Chalice of Youth. Skeletons gain plus 10 life. And I get this new guy here. No, I know the rabbit's foot. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just collecting rabbit's foot left, right and center. Okay. We haven't done engineering yet, have we? Let's have a look at this. Ah. Upgrading the traps. Right. I'm liking the catapult. And a random event. Sorcerer's Apprentice. By personal initiative, the lab assistant has made some modifications on one of your traps. However, it seems that he has completely failed the adjustments. Fixing it would take five weeks. Ah, oh, damn! Fire him or forgive him. You are fired! Collectors. These suit and tie vampires are there to collect taxes. However, blood is more valuable than gold coins to them. They could even grant you a monetary compensation in exchange for the for blood collection, and you would exceptionally be exempted from the taxes. Thirty life lost. Ah, refuse. Well, guys, I think that pretty much demonstrates the demo of the game. This is more of a defense game than I thought. I thought I was going to be traveling from point to point as uh, certain other. Uh, games like this would do, but no, this one takes a different approach. You're just defending your home from these invaders. I'm liking it. I wonder what else is going to be planned for this. I haven't found any bugs so far. Didn't figure out how I could heal myself, though. Maybe I'm missing that part, but I think we can safely say that this is going to be an absolutely excellent game to play. I look forward to seeing the full version. If you want to try this yourself, the link is below, and I'll see you soon. Keep playing.